hi and welcome back to my channel today welcome for all those of you that have already subscribed welcome for all those of you that have been watching me that have been following me on my channel so today i will be giving a testimony about a mysterious invitation someone that invited me but didn't explain to me where he was taking me to so today how are you doing hope everything is fine with you be blessed be strong no matter what you might be going through remember god is love he will take care of you so if you are mourning or if you have any sorts of anything that you might have in your life that's not going on today i just want to encourage you i know it's not easy i know life is not always easy and there are ups and downs and we just have to like continue to live life goes on and we just have to call upon the lord for help because he alone can help us he alone can help us today as i said i will be giving a testimony of something that happened that happened it was so long ago but just to say, show you the grace on the mercy of God upon our lives and we don't deserve anything. We don't deserve it. We don't deserve it. We didn't like, we cannot imagine how God can be good to us although we are not perfect. So I will talk to you about this thing that was something that happened to me before. I was a Christian and I didn't know better. I didn't know anything about really good and bad. To me, life was just one day at a time and just live our life. I, I used to think like that. You can live your life as you please. So now I can say I know better. I know better. So that's a testimony is very strong it's very strong but god was with me that's to show you the power of god his mercy his grace upon my life is not to glorify myself in anything but just to glorify his name because he is the one he is the one he has always been the one it's not about me it's all about him his grace his mercy and his calling upon my life so today i want to share with you that mysterious invitation it was one day it was a wrong i don't i cannot remember the time I, but it was during the night around eight or nine not nine but eight o'clock eight p.m someone came to me and told me like he will make him he will take me out and for a, a we'll go just go for a walk it was a close friend of mine so i didn't hesitate and i went with him when we arrived where he was taking me to I saw I was surprised I was surprised I didn't expect to be going in a place like that I never thought of that but it was a place that that they had voodoo dance voodoo dance like people the people was trying to get um, in contact with an evil spirit so when I arrived at that place, I didn't go close to them. I just stay back and I say, what's that? So why did you take me there? Hey? I couldn't understand because they, these people, they were Haitian people. And I think there are a season or once a year. I don't know how it works. I don't know nothing about it. They will be dancing and like inviting evil spirit and they will use rum pepper and all sorts of things to put in the private parts and like they tell me that they will not even feel that they self the private part will burn them with the pepper they will be putting in the self in so when i arrived i didn't go close so i said what is that why did you take me here 
I cannot understand. So I, I stayed back all alone. I didn't go with them, but I was praying, as I said, as a young child. I used to read Psalms 91 and 23. So I started to pray. Although I was living in a fornication life, I was living in fornication, but I always kept on praying each and every day because to me that was natural. I was living a natural life. You don't have to judge me or say who tell you that God was with you. You don't know God. You don't know his power and his love and mercy on someone's life. So don't judge. Just listen. And if you don't want to listen, you don't have to listen to me. You don't have to listen to my story or to my testimonies. So I'm not being rude or anything. You can make a choice if to listen or not. So I will continue what I was saying. That person took me to that place. But I started to pray. I started to pray. I started to repeat Psalms 91, Psalms 23, Psalms 9. I, I cannot tell you for how long, but I didn't stay there long, maybe. I don't know if it, if it was 30 minutes, so I don't know. But as I said, I didn't go close to them. I didn't take anything from them. I stayed afar because I was very shy. I was very shy. I don't know. Like now it's just dropping little by little. Since when I started going to church, even in, in the church, I'm a little bit shy. But now I can like come and testify. I don't know. God has started something in me, but at that time when I, when I used to go out or any place, even in a party, I used to stay back and be in, in my corner, just being there by myself. And people will say, but what's wrong with her? Why is she so? She's not even coming. And, but to me, that was, that was, I couldn't, I just couldn't <laughs> be with others and feeling myself comfortable if it's not people that I knew or grew up with I, it was like uh, it was very difficult for me so when I saw that I stayed back as I said and I started praying and praying and praying and praying so I, I saw uh, from afar there was beating tambu and dancing and just trying to make that evil spirit come so i was saying to myself what is going on what is that type of thing what is going on so i was praying and i was saying to myself that thing can never come here whilst i'm there it will never come. It will. It can never happen. <laughs> I was saying that in my heart. So I, the person that 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 took me to that place, he went and do his business, and watching them like he was accustomed maybe with that. I. So I said, no, no, no. I'm not going close to them. I will not be getting myself involved. I will just so. I, a time I just went up, I just left them and I just went up, I just went higher up where I could not even see them and I was praying and praying and praying and I was saying that thing cannot come there, that thing will not come there. When I, when I, maybe I, I will, when, what I was saying like, while I'm there, you can never come, you will never come, that thing will never come, that's what I can remember I was saying, and I was saying it with so much faith. I said, you will never come there. You all can wait and you all can sweat and you all can do whatever that you all want, but that thing will not come there. And I kept on praying and praying and praying and everybody taking their turns and beating tambu and do all sorts of things. But I was saying, you all will sweat and sweat and sweat, but that thing will not come. Why someday it will not come? I don't know why. I don't know why I was saying that. I don't know why. So after a good time, I don't know if it 
if it's if it was excuse me uh, around 40 minutes or what i cannot remember if it was one hour i cannot say but the only thing i can remember that thing didn't come and they were saying oh it will not come it's not coming it's not coming there is a problem it's not coming it will not come it will not come they were talking they were saying that it will not come and everybody was beating the tumble taking turns and doing that and that one maybe can do it better all of them may be possessed was maybe possessed with evil spirit or have their own thing they know how to beat that thing to make that evil spirit appear so i was saying in my you all can do whatever you all want but that spirit will not come there so after a good while we left that place like but before we left i was sweating i was sweating i was sweating like it was a heavy work for me although i was just praying and just not even really praying but just saying psalms 91 psalms 91 psalms 91 psalms 23 psalms 91 psalms 23 that's how i used to say it always psalms 23 psalms 91 psalms 23 psalms 91 one 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 don't go without another i always say i always used to say 23 and 91 after 23 91 23 91 23 91 so that's all I did after when we left. I was saying to myself, but I was sweating, sweating, sweating. I was saying to myself, mm, now I'm gone. I don't know what will happen, but I know it didn't come. It didn't come. It didn't come. That thing, that evil spirit, that devil didn't come. So the next day, someone... I think someone told the friend that took me to that place, you know what happened? Ah, maybe you, you left a little bit too early. You know what happened? That thing came, I think about five minutes after you left, that thing, the, the evil spirit came. They have a name for it, but I don't know. It came like it was an evil spirit that was coming from Haiti to meet them like the thing of like I don't know the something like in their country that had to care that had that night they was making I think a, a party for it or whatever I don't know a celebration I don't know so it didn't came it didn't came so the next day they told him you know that thing after you left it didn't even take five minutes and it came it came maybe you left too early i and when he told me that i was saying to myself you could stay until tomorrow it would not come it would not come it would not come so that's what i wanted to share with you like you can see the power like god has chosen us and maybe we were ignorant but that thing that god gave us was still strong because as he said, I will be always saying that in the book of Jeremiah, the Lord said to Jeremiah, yeah, before you was formed in your mother's womb, I knew you and he had already made him a prophet, a prophet of the nation. And I say to myself, I will be always taking that for myself because before i was in my mother's womb conceive and get out of the belly as the lord is saying i was already chosen by him and although i was living in ignorance i didn't know what powers i had or what the lord wanted to do with me or to show me or i still up to now i'm i know i haven't do what the lord is asking of me like you just want sometimes to you are holding yourself back or sometimes you're going to a church and they you don't get maybe enough support or you don't have enough insurance in yourself i will say that i think it's me the problem i am my i am the problem because like you want to limit what the lord want to do with you you just i just have to learn how to let god do what he have to do with me 
So that's what I wanted to share with you today. And to God be the glory. I know the Lord of Jacob, the God of Moses, he is a good God. He is real. He is real, people. He is real. He is real. He has done so many great things for me. And I will be sharing. I will be sharing with you. So that was, that's the end of my testimony about the mysterious invitation. <laughs> Until next time, have a blessed day. Be blessed and stay blessed. Bye-bye.